What up, Iron Man fans? This is Sean Long of Long Shot Dreams, and I'm bringing you another Iron Man movie toy review. This time of the Iron Man movie masterpiece Hot Toys Mark II Armor Iron Man 1-6 scale collectible figure. So let's take a look at the packaging. In the front of the box is the chest plate of the Mark II Armor with the very cool rivets. You can actually feel them, which is very cool. Then you can feel a little indentation. And the arc uh, light reactor, Iron Man Mark II uh, Hot Toys movie masterpiece of the Bottom. On the side of the box we get the Mark II helmet here which looks very badass, Iron Man Mark II. And on the back of the packaging we get more pictures of the Mark II like with a Tony Stark head and in various positions and with uh, his little uh, proof that Tony Stark has a heart and we also get pictures of the Mark I and Mark III armor and all the Hot Toys credits and warning choking hazards. Uh, if you're uh, buying this and uh, planning to eat this then I pity you. When you first open up the box it's really cool. You first on on this side you get the uh, inner workings of the Mark II armor so you see all that plus you get the little arc reactor which is you know indentation inside the box sleeve he says Iron Man Mark II armor more pictures of the Mark II with his hand right there we get a little bio of the Mark II armor while traveling overseas on business Tony Stark is gravely injured after being ambushed and taken hostage while in captivity Stark is ordered to build a super weapon capable of worldwide devastation instead determined to escape and ultimately confront the demons of his past. Stark constructs a nearly invincible suit of armor equipped with powerful repulsor rays and high altitude flight capabilities and escape. Upon his return to America, he becomes the red and gold warrior Iron Man, vowing to don his powerful armor to protect the world. Collector Edition MMS78. And as we open it, more inner workings of the Mark II armor, we get this really awesome picture of the Mark II armor looking badass. And then this is where the figure would be displayed in if you kept it in packaging. But of course, they don't keep it in packaging, so let's look at the figure. Now, as for the figure itself, wow. Hot Toys once again has done outdone themselves. Now you're probably gonna say, isn't the Mark II armor just a repaint of the Mark III armor? Yes and no. Now of course the color is the silver color that he had before he painted it the gold and red color. And yes, but the silver is actually very nicely done with some really nice black wash all over it. And also it's retooled because if you can see here, like in the chest area, he has all the little rivets, which he does have in the movie if you watch it closely, compared to the more smoother surface of the Mark III armor. So it's really cool to see that Hot Toys won the extra step. Not only not just to make this a repaint of the Mark III armor since this came out after the Mark III armor. I mean in when the toy came out not in the movie so it's really cool that you see all the little details of the rivets it's also in the arms and yes just the paint on this is really nice like you can see around the abnormal area it has this really nice exhaust look and it just looks absolutely amazing like in the legs and it's just it's not just a plain silver it's very uh, like it looks like actual metal silver and it's and just like what they added black wash, especially you can see here more in the back. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. This armor looks not only as good as the Mark III, in some aspects it looks better with them. I mean, it definitely looks just like more like an Iron Man, but you know, I, I, I definitely love the red and the gold more, but this definitely looks amazing. I love in this silver paint job, but I don't know, I think the suit needs something. Maybe a little red, you know, hot rod red for the ladies, oh yeah. Articulation, uh, if you see my Mark III uh, armor review, then you know the articulation is the exact same. I said it can fully rotate on the ball joint and can go up and down. Arms are fully ro uh, can rotate because it's really cool how these um, shoulder pads are built in, like, which doesn't affect the articulation. It can go in and out, rotate at the upper part of the arm right here, bend at the elbow just at one point, but that's because of the light-up feature. Wrist can fully rotate as well as go in and out a bit. Um, he does actually have some waist articulation, but and it does actually move pretty good. Uh, it can move uh, not too much, but it can move pretty good. He does supposedly have upper ab articulation, but I'm not going to force it. I just heard that he does. Legs can go forward and back 
in and out, uh, rotate at the upper part of the leg, bend at two points at the knee, and his feet can uh, fully uh, rotate all the way around as well as go up and down, and also has the toe articulation right there, which can pivot uh, up and down. So lots of articulation, Hot Toys really gives you your money's worth. Just like the Mark III armor, uh, which actually makes more sense in this version, you can actually lift up the legs uh, parts on the back and open up these little flaps right here. You get the inner details of the suit here on the back leg like when he was working on it in the movie which is just very nice that they included in this for both uh, arms he has a little switch right here and if you uh, put in the open up open palm hands you can actually has light up re repulsors which is very awesome and very nice uh, whitish blue light this the light of mine I'm gonna let it shine and it's gonna Michael Bay in your face just like the Mark III armor you can also have the lift up uh, rocket launcher here on both arms which is also very cool okay time to test out the weapon system activate Mark II repulsor now <laughs> Oh crap, I just blew up the moon. Oh well, I'll just buy the planet a new one. And I'll have a mini bar with it. Just like on the Mark III version, you can also lift up the back flaps right here for his brakes when he's flying on. On this side, you know a little switch right here. If you remember from the Mark III, you just switch it on. You can see, especially in the dark, that uh, his eyes and the chest light up a really nice bluish white light. And man, does it look so cool. Jarvis, prepare for test flight. But sir, you had two bottles of tequila and an eighth of vodka. Jarvis, sometimes we need to learn to run before we can walk oh, oh, oh man i'm so wasted and so we need to learn to be sober before we fly out 600,000 feet in the armored suit for accessories the mark ii armor does come with a few he comes with uh two extra pairs of um of hands he gets two uh, fist hands two open palm hands which has it so they can have the light up uh, repulsor as well as two uh half uh, open hands or mostly open hands so it's really cool you get different hands uh, to use with him just like all the other hot toys figures you get this nice iron man stand that says mark ii right here with the adjustable cradle which is very awesome one of the coolest accessories i already switched it out here he comes with an alternative tony stark head which you can actually lift this face plate you can open up this part and lift the faceplate up and you can see it has a really great likeness to uh, the Robert Downey Jr. Tony Stark you know and just to look in his eyes and the eyebrows and the goatee it looks really great what's cool about this is this is held on with a magnet so it stays on pretty sturdy and you can actually position in like the halfway pose or like all the way up so it's really cool it, the magnet can be a little flimsy sometimes but or i mean with the faceplate but it's really cool also cool about the detail inside of the faceplate looks just like how it looked when he first put it on in the movie and it's just a hot toys you know, always puts a lot of amount of detail into their figures. Just a dude playing a dude in an iron suit, dude. And I got nominated for an Oscar, dude. Go see Iron Man 2 in theaters, dude. Since the Mark III came with most of the same accessories, for the Mark II, they give you an added accessory. Mark I chest reactor uh, arc light, uh, which is actually really cool because not only comes in this nice display case that says Iron Man, when you open it up, you can actually see right there it says proof that Tony Stark has a heart. The detail on this is absolutely amazing, the fact that for something so small they can do that. And what's also another added bonus, when you actually flip the switch right here, actually lights up. How awesome is that? And you can actually adjust this where it can actually move a little bit. I mean, I don't see why you need to, but that's so cool. And just a little nice little touch for all Hot Toys to give us. Hey, Silk Spectre. Yes, Tony? I want to give you a special gift. I'm giving you my heart. Aw, Tony. I want to let you know that it's really special and delicate. So make sure not to... <laughs> you biatch! Tony, I'm sorry I didn't mean to. You just broke my heart. That's it. I'm sticking to Marvel Girls. Where's Black Widow when you need her? Size comparison time. So here you can see that the Mark II armor is next to its brothers which is the mark one and mark three armor and you can see that they're all in a great scale and a great 12 inch figures all amazing figures now the mark two armor if you have the mark three you can say why should i get it well not only with the proof that tony stark has a heart uh, accessory and the cool tony stark head that you can lift up and yeah, how cool is that? Come on. I mean, not only do you get all those uh, features, I mean, it's just a great figure. The silver and the black wash on it, detail, and the rivets are just amazing. Hot Toys does an amazing job on these figures. Unfortunately, this is sold out at Big Bad Toy Store and Sideshow Collectibles. You can get this on eBay. If you can get it for 170 170 180 bucks, that's a deal. Otherwise, these things can go up for over 200 bucks. but 
They were so worth it. And if you're a big Iron Man fan, these are must-have. I highly, highly recommend these figures. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Stay tuned for more Iron Man reviews as well as other toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like. And Sean Long saying until next time. Hey kids, where does Iron Man buy all his awesome toys? He gets them from BigBadToyStore.com. Get all the latest hot toys Iron Man figures or the new Iron Man 2 movie toys from Hasbro. You don't have to be rich like Tony Stark. You can pre-order your toys or they take PayPal. Now get your toys at BigBadToyStore.com now or I will send a repulsor in your face. Oh look, it's the Tin Man. I am Iron Man, not the Tin Man, you moron. I am looking for my heart. Have you seen a heart? I don't have any heart, but I have some tea. <laughs> uh, well, I need a drink, especially talking to you. Do you have any vodka with your tea?